So, um, on the 5th, tomorrow, they're going to implement this unban list. Uh, EB, fine, legal in the TCG. Uh, it's going to make Generator playable. That's cool. Dragonic Diagram to 3, whatever. Not a big deal. Uh, Masterpiece, I've long said this card could come back. It's not that big of a deal. Um, Dragoon, a little scarier than normal because uh, Verte is still legal, but... Uh, DP was the preferred target and has been legal with Verte forever and no one does it. In fact, you can even do Scythe Lock in Master Duel right now and no one does it. Isn't that crazy? Uh, and then, um... What the fuck? Why did... What the fuck? What? Who... Okay, a couple of things going on here. One, who was asking for this? I... Who... Was someone like, oh my god... I need Goblin back. I'm, I, I think it literally is him. Like, he works at Konami. It's... Wow. Okay, so what's surprising about these two cards? Well, firstly, I believe they're both banned, not only in uh, OCG and TCG. Mermaid's banned in fucking Duel Links. Uh, it, it's unbelievable. Um, Mermaid is kind of an interesting unhit because it's coming out at a similar time to the Fiendsmith cards being released, and the concept was that any two monsters were full Orcist combo by going into a Nightmare, linking that off for Mermaid, and then getting, uh, Nightmare Orcist, right? And then you can just make Galatea, do the whole combo, right? Um, whereas in Fiendsmith, any two monsters is Moon of the Closed Heaven, which turns into, uh, Requiem, which turns into Engraver, which is the full combo, right? I'm going to say something that might be a little, maybe a little, uh, sus. I think this card's still really good. I don't understand why people are pretending like the existence of Fiendsmith makes Nightmare Mermaid bad. Like, Orcust is topping in the TCG at present at a state that is infinitely more hit than it is in Master Duel with no Mermaid. Like, the, the thrust of Orcist is it requires a pretty minimal main deck amount of cards, or minimum cards that work well with other cards, the Horuses, Bestials, shit like that. And you can go into them really late into a combo after being interrupted. What's more, I don't know why people think that they won't play, like, Orcust and Fiendsmith in the same deck. Like, I think this is going to give rise to some really consistent, uh, like, uh, low-to-the-ground, like, Kashtira, and then a million hand trap decks that go like, okay, first we'll lead to Desiree, then we're going to link off, let's say, um, a Sequence and one random monster for uh, Nightmare Phoenix, and then make Mermaid, and then do that half of the combo. It's strange to me. It, it, it just feels like no one was asking for this back. And that sounds fun. I don't know. I think Yu-Gi-Oh! players don't know what they want because there is such a universal dislike of Fiendsmith, a deck that is so similar to Orcist that the arguments about Mermaid cannot avoid talking about Fiendsmith's applications. And yet people are like, oh, but I want Orcist back. I think it is new, bad, old, good. Regardless, I don't think this is going to, like, ruin the game. You know, I don't think there's going to be, like, people who are like, I was going to play the game, now I'm quitting because Nightmare Mermaid exists, right? This one... This one is quite scary. Um... It's strange for a number of reasons. Firstly... A perfect application of this card is that it's bad, that this card is not good, that we have moved beyond it, and that it is never going to see play in anything. This is something that we kept running into with the Masochist Bandless Tournament. If a card is bad, we'll see no play in anything, but does enable a completely unfun bullshit FTK, why leave it legal? Sure, it's not a good card, but the only thing it's ever used for is evil. So why unhit this secondly i think a lot of people are very stupid i've seen a lot of fuckers on twitter namely that atrocity motherfucker uh go to bat for the fact that this card has been completely power crept no one wants two normal summons uh brilliant fusion is legal and no one's playing that like that isn't a main deck card this card is a lot better than you think it is it's hard to explain to people who have never played with this card 
But this card is a lot better than you think it is. The thing that people are, I think, correctly identifying is that this doesn't really perfectly fit in to any of the top meta decks. There's an argument you can play it in, like, U-Bell. But the other ones, eh, probably, probably not. So the argument against it isn't that the card is okay, but that it doesn't have applications in decks that are already super dominant. I urge you to just believe a little harder. There's a lot creeping around the metagame that Nightmare Goblin was a distinct part of that I'm a little concerned about. I mean, Spiral's at fucking full power in Master Duel. Again, I hope that the worst doesn't come to pass and this is played in nothing, but that's the best case scenario, that it's bad and just shows up in dual taming every four weeks. Ugh.